the easiest and best chocolate treat you could ever make. Welcome back everyone. Well, if you don't know by now that I love chocolate, you haven't been on the channel long enough and therefore you should subscribe right away. For the one that I already know, yes, I do love chocolate and today we're going to make a treat that comes all the way from Savoie, which I would say is the center east of France, but more particularly from Chambéry. We are making the chocolate truffle. You probably had it before, but it's so easy to make and it's so rewarding creamy ganache with whatever coating you want. Classically, we would use some cocoa powder, but you can chew them whichever way you want. How exciting. Two things are meant to be done. For us to get cooking, and as always, for you to smash that subscribe button. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna grab our stainless steel bowl, and I'm gonna place my chocolate, my cream, and my vanilla. We're going to place that on the double boiler and we're going to melt it until it is fully combined. You want to make sure you don't overheat it so the chocolate doesn't overcook and also the shine stays beautiful. Once melted, we're going to take it out of the heat and I'm going to add the butter cold. And I'm going to incorporate it until it's nice and smooth and shiny. We'll then place it into a container. I'm going to add a bit of plastic wrap over top so it doesn't create a crust. And we'll then place it in a fridge for about an hour. One hour later. All right, now that our ganache is set, we are going to remove the plastic and we're gonna start portioning it. I'm doing 16 gram bowl, but you could also use like an ice cream scooper just to give you a reference. Once we have all our little pebbles of chocolate, we're gonna work on a garnish. And I'm gonna start with pecan. I'm going to chop them up. You could use any kind of nuts or any kind of toppings. I'm also going to use two of the toppings, which are foitine, which is a crispy crepes, my pecan and cocoa powder, which is more classic. All right, next I'm gonna put my beautiful gloves because it's gonna get very messy and we're gonna roll them between our hands until they form a perfect little bowl. You'll then place them in whatever coating you've prepared and then make sure they are all over it. You wanna make sure that really the coating is wrapped so because they don't get too messy and they'll melt in your fingers. We'll then place them on the plate beautifully. You can actually keep them for about two weeks in your fridge but they are better enjoyed at room temperature. Bon appétit. And here we have it, some delicious truffle. I cannot wait to try them. They have many different coatings. As I mentioned before, you can really tune them the way you want them. Keep them plain with cocoa powder or go crazy. Even just confettis if you want. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. The recipe will be in the description below as always. I'm about to try them, so I'll catch you on the next episode.